Welcome to Africa Info Hub. In this video, we are going to talk about 10 amazing facts about Somalia. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Somalia is a country which is located in the Horn of Africa. Somalia, like any other country in the globe, has its own unique set of intriguing places, distinct cultures, and fascinating geographical facts to offer visitors to the country. It has a total land area of 637,657 square kilometers. Mogadishu serves as the country's capital and largest city. Somali and Arabic are the official languages of Somalia. Somali is the national language. The Somali shilling, SOS is the official currency of the country. Djibouti, Ethiopia, and Kenya are the nations that border the country. Somalia's highly educated population can frequently communicate in five languages. Here are the 10 interesting facts you did not know about Somalia. Number 10. Somalia is one of Africa's most culturally homogeneous countries. While most African countries have ethnically diverse populations, Somalia has one of the continent's most ethnically homogeneous populations. Ethiopia's ethnic Somali population accounts for 85% of the country's total population. They are mostly found in northern Somalia, where they have a large population. Many ethnic minorities live mostly in the country's southern region. The Bantus constitute the largest minority group in the country. Bravanese, Barjuni, Ethiopians, particularly Oromos, Yemenis, Indians, Persians, Italians, and Britons are among the remaining ethnic groups. Number 9. Somalia's Economy and People Somalia is one of the world's most beautiful countries. Somalis are a warm and welcoming people. Residents in Somalia have been working to reconstruct their communities following the civil war's destruction. Somalia received financial support from the United States, which was used to improve seaports and Mogadishu International Airport. Many of Somalia's industries were created with the assistance of foreign nationals. The industries that one can find in Somalia are fish and meat canneries, mild processing facilities, leather tanning companies, electrical and pharmaceutical manufacturers companies. Over half of Somalians are self-employed. They are farmers, herders, and self-employed entrepreneurs. Families in Somalia have traditionally assigned essential tasks to men and older boys, such as caring for camels and cattle. Sheep and goats are cared for by girls and young boys. During the civil war, many men lost their lives. The women were left to fend for themselves as a result of this. Women in Somalia have demonstrated extraordinary adaptability and entrepreneurial acumen. Many international organizations have aided them in their educational and vocational pursuits. When people in Somalia marry, they form a bond not only between themselves and their wives, but also between the families. Number 8. Somalia has been inhabited since at least the Paleolithic. Somalia was an important center for trade with the rest of the ancient world, and most experts believe it is one of the most likely sites for the fabled ancient land of Punt. The British and Italian empires seized control of parts of the coast in the late 19th century through a series of treaties with several kingdoms, and the colonies of British Somaliland and Italian Somaliland were founded. Mohammed Abdullah Hassan's dervish state successfully repelled the British Empire four times in the interior, forcing it to retire to the coast, but the dervishes were finally crushed by British air power in 1920. The Italian occupation lasted until 1941, when it was handed over to British military command. In 1949, Italian Somaliland became a United Nations trusteeship under Italian administration, the trust territory of Somaliland, while British Somaliland remained a protectorate. Number 7. Brief History of Somalia The new country of Somalia was founded on July 1, 1960. Mohamed Syed Bar took over the country in a bloodless coup in 1969. Somalia invaded Ethiopia's Ogaden region between 1977 and 1978. Ethiopia and Somalia signed their first peace deal in 1988. The United Nations launched a coalition force led by the United States in December 1992 to restore order so that food could be supplied to the Somali people. Number 6. Somali homes smells good. It is customary in Somalia for people to perfume their homes after large dinners or on special occasions when guests are invited to their residence. 
as an incense burner, dab cards, which are white clay or soapstone pots, are utilized. Frankincense or other incense is poured on hot charcoal inside a dab card, where it burns for around 10 minutes before being extinguished. The fragrance that has been generated will last for several hours throughout the house. A huge number of Somali households, many of which are multi-generational and patriarchal, exist. This implies that the men are in most positions of authority. The traditional tasks of cooking, cleaning, and keeping at home are carried out by the women. When a family celebrates an event like as a wedding, a birth, or a circumcision, it is customary to have a large party that includes food. It is customary for families to bake bread and prepare food for guests, as well as for the destitute who are also invited to the celebration. Number 5. Las Gil Cave Paintings of Somalia are very famous. Las Gil is a name given to a group of cave formations located near Hargeza, Somaliland. The Las Gil contains some of the most ancient cave paintings in the Horn of Africa region, which date back thousands of years. They are thought to have existed between 3,000 and 9,000 years ago. The paintings are among of the most famous of their sort in Africa. The last Gilles' vibrant rock art includes cattle dressed in ceremonial robes, a domesticated dog, giraffes, humans, and other animals. As a result of the natural protection provided by granite overhangs, the paintings have also survived in excellent shape. Number 4. Somalia Flag. Somalia's flag is a simple white star on a light blue background, with a white star in the center. The light blue color was inspired by the United Nations flag, which played an important role in aiding Somalia's transition to independence from the United Kingdom. Somalia's national symbol is a white star on a blue background. Each of the five spots on the map represents a different Somali homeland. Number 3. Somalia has a lot of exotic and cool animals. A wide range of mammals can be found there, including cheetahs, giraffes, elephants, baboons, lions, and many more. Somalia is also home to many crocodiles and camels. In fact, Somalia possesses the world's largest herd of camels, with over a million of them. The camel is Somalia's our most well-known and widely recognized symbol. This is because camels give meat, milk, transportation, income, and social standing to people who possess them. Number 2. Somalian food. Somali cuisine is delicious. It's an African cuisine with roots in the Horn of Africa. It has existed for ages in Somalia and nearby countries. The Somali form of spaghetti, which has noodles, a top diced tomato, onions, and jalapeno peppers, has evolved to suit Somali demands and traditions. In many Somali cities, restaurants are popular, but until the late 1990s, women rarely dined with men. It is usual for the women to serve the males first when dining at home. The men will sit down and dine with the youngsters after they have finished their meals. In Somalia, people eat with their first three fingers, scooping food from their dish. Some people will roll a banana leaf and scoop with it. Many urban Somalis prefer to eat with their fingers rather than utensils. Number 1. Beautiful beaches in Somalia. The beaches of Somalia run parallel to the Indian Ocean in the east and are protected by a coral reef that stretches from Mogadishu to the Kenyan border in the south. White sand and glistening blue oceans offer a picture of paradise. Lido Beach is one of Somalia's most popular beaches. It is one of those usual beaches that stands ideally positioned to the blue of the Indian Ocean in Somalia's capital city, with a base strip of gorgeous white sand. The beauty of Lido Beach is beyond description. It's a beach with sand. Long walks by the water or simply relaxing on a sunbed are wonderful on a stretch of warm white beach. The water is clear and inviting, beckoning you to swim or plunge in. People stay out on the beach long after sunset to see the lovely night skyline and the deep blue ocean, thanks to the stunning sunset vista. Lido Beach is an ideal location for gaining a new perspective on a rediscovered and renewed Somalia. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.